Manta just broke out of this channel. The privacy token of DeFi does not disappoint in price development and tokenomics, letting traders speculate on next price targets as high as $10, despite some pitfalls with the airdrop in the beginning. So in this video, I have really, really interesting data for you regarding total value locked, liquidity, open interest, the unlock schedule, as well as chart analysis, of course, which I will all elaborate so we will see if the price targets are reasonable and when we can expect them. As always, all of this in this episode of Philprints, your one and only stop for crypto, finance and trading. Before we start, if you have not subscribed yet, please ask yourself why and do it now. You really don't want to miss the next videos. Let's get to it. So to start with, Manta launched on January 18th, so just over a week ago, with this massive, massive pump, which is on its own around 120x. And that is most likely due to the fact that Manta launched through Binance launch pool, which allowed you to stake BNB and FDUSD to get some Manta tokens. In and of itself, this is a very good sign as projects which launch on these platforms, the Launchpad and the Launch Pool are hand-picked. Over the last years, only 83 projects could launch on here. What's also really positive, the price didn't dump right back down, but rather we are accumulating here very, very nicely. Also, as you saw in the beginning, we just broke out of this channel, which is a very positive sign. But nevertheless, when we are looking at the liquidity heat map, we can see that the perpetual contract on BitGet shows us that we have a lot of liquidity at this price level here, which would be just around at the breakout level. So we can expect price to have a quick wick down here to liquidate late longs before we continue to travel up. Before we continue with the tokenomics as well as other market data, let's quickly have a look at what Manta Network actually does. To make it really, really simple, it's another layer 2 solution leveraging Celestia and Ethereum and thereby uses Celestia's modular data availability for a fast and cost efficient infrastructure. In more detail, Manta consists of Manta Atlantic and Manta Pacific, where Manta Atlantic is a layer one solution building on top of Polkadot and mainly focuses on anonymity. Manta Pacific, on the other hand, is a layer two scaling solution working with the Ethereum virtual machine for the development of ZK dApps. So simply put, this means developers can build decentralized applications using Solidity, the programming language of Ethereum smart contracts, enabling developers to build dApps with ZK, short for zero knowledge proof, which means that transactions are processed while transaction details are kept private. Manta Pacific is then integrated with Celestia in order to expand the data storage capabilities of the network. Altogether, this makes for a dual or modular blockchain approach with Manta Atlantic being the fastest zero knowledge layer one chain on Polkadot. The strong ties with Polkadot with Celestia and with Ethereum are very bullish in and of itself. And now brings us back to other important data and tokenomics. First one being the total value locked. As you can see in this chart, the total value locked is growing steadily from its launch until now, making one all time high after the other, which shows us that investors have confidence in the projects and lock funds with Manta. Same holds true for the open interest on Manta, which is going parabolic on Binance as well as Bybit, especially here recently with price breaking through resistance, which shows us confidence of traders in this trend and makes it more likely for a follow through. The last time the open interest had a very steady upwards move was from January 23rd to 24th. And as this was combined with a rising price, this resulted in a very steady pump. Now, the next thing we should look at is the unlock schedule, because this shows us where selling pressure is to be expected. And if we would have big selling pressure without demand coming in, this would make Manta have a difficult time pumping. Also something that has to be noted, centralized exchanges love to use these unlock events because most of retail traders are speculating that price should drop then. But exchanges squeeze them first before letting price dump in order for them to make easy, easy money. So if you speculate on shorting these unlocking events, please keep this in mind, which I also explained in another video about Pith Network. 
go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. But now back to Manson Network, it actually looks very, very good because you can see here that the private investors, the strategic investors, as well as the institution investors, which were able to accumulate at very low prices are locked up for another year before they can start to sell. Apart from that, the next unlock rounds are very small amounts of tokens, so this shouldn't be too much of a selling pressure. Also in this chart view, you can see that the unlocks will happen very gradually and not in single big events as with other tokens, which is also a very good sign. The funds of the Manta team are actually locked for the longest time, which undermines their conviction for the project and makes for a well-rounded and good-looking vesting schedule. So far, so good, but there were also some negative news regarding their airdrop as well as a DDoS attack which was attacking the network. This sparked allegations that Manta is using the airdrop to just farm users and increase their TVL. As it seems, the problem lies mostly in a miscommunication between the team and the community. So participants could earn points for using the Manta blockchain. More specifically, to earn points, users needed to bridge funds to Manta Ethereum's layer 2 blockchain, Manta Pacific, where they would receive equivalent tokens that represented the bridge funds and then for every 25 points they were rewarded with a treasure chest that could contain an nft of one of six rarities and in the end it seemed that it wasn't really clear how to price them so basically there were people who bridged around two and a half thousand dollars to Manta pacific paying 40 dollars in transaction fees as well and then only receiving 13 manta tokens worth around 28 dollars which is kind of a bummer. On top of this airdrop issues, there was a DDoS attack on January 18th, so on the day of token launch, which paralyzed the network for a few hours through 135 million requests that hit Manta. But fortunately, as you can see, this didn't affect price too much as it really holds up well. And this brings us to the next point, the long-term price prediction. So rumor has it that we should expect $10 for Manta and actually based on technical analysis this isn't too far-fetched. Firstly we have this big wick and this topped out at around $6.30. It's pretty likely that we will fill this wick which is more than halfway to $10. Also if we bring up the Fibonacci tool and measure this downwards move we would have a price target of around $12.00. 65 which is even a bit higher and then this area the 1.272 to 1.414 which tend to get front run would be around this area of ten dollars so yeah this is pretty reasonable combined with this former resistance holding as support now for even longer term price predictions we could compare manta to other layer 2 projects that had been around in the last bull market as the present price chart isn't enough to derive that so we could take for example polygon matic that sits at around 7.6 billion dollars in market cap in direct comparison this would mean a 7.77x for Manta and bring up the price to around $30. If we would compare that to the all-time high of Matic, we could expect around 20 to 21x, bringing Manta to around $79. Of course, it's pretty early to tell if that's likely, as this means that Manta would have to have the same amount of hype that Matic had in the last bull market and also some other factors. What I also would like to compare is Celestia as Manta is tied to this project and therefore we could see some similar price moves and there we can see that Tia had a very nice sideways range for around nine days as you can see right here nine to ten days and if we take Manta this is sitting at around nine days as well so if this is anything to compare we could expect Manta to break out in the next days which would make up for a great short term play combined with this breakout and this price protection of the 1.618. So altogether, we can see that Mansa seems to be a very good project, featuring great tokenomics, a great team backing it, a very well organized vesting schedule combined with the launch in Binance launch pool, which is a quality measure on its own. Yes, there were some disappointments regarding the airdrop and DDoS attack, but it seems Mansa wasn't hit too hard. Also, it seems we don't have to fear any long-term effects of these events. So everything's all right from this side. So all in all, it's looking good. Also, 
of course it's pretty early to tell how the project can perform in the next one or two years but it's standing a great chance in my opinion of course this is not financial advice as always please do your own research and due diligence please let me know down in the comment section what's your take on manta what's your price target short and long term i would really look forward to hearing from you and with that it's a wrap if you made it to the very end of this episode please make sure to subscribe down below hit the bell icon and give me a like so you don't miss any further videos also it really helps the channel grow i'm looking forward to see you in my next video until then crush the markets goodbye